welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Letitia Charisma. So today we are talking about all the newest drops from our tray for September 2024. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. But before we do, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share. And don't forget to follow me on TikTok and Instagram for more beauty and hair related content. Okay, dolls. First up from Melted Hairline, we have Ivara. Synthetic hair, 24 inches long, yakky texture, wavy style. Color shown DRFF2 Honey Amber Blonde, DRST4 Vanilla Cocoa Melt MC Dipped Cherry. This comes in nine different beautiful colors. You guys already know how I feel about the Melted Hairline series. It's very hit or miss for me because the flaps, don't those flaps remind you of the never ending story, that big ass like monster thing that was flying that boy on top of, anyway, if you're, if you're familiar with the 80s, you know exactly what I'm talking about, but anywho, so yeah, Ivara's really pretty. Don't think this needed to be a melted hairline, especially because it is not a frontal, but that's just my opinion, you guys. Nonetheless, I still think Miss Mams is really gorgeous. Love the color stories in all of the units. Absolutely gorgeous. The DRST4 Vanilla Cocoa Melt and the Honey Amber Blanc, well, Brown is really pretty. Let me know down below what you guys are thinking, if you want me to review her, if you just want me to pass, girl. Also from the Melted Hairline, we have Miss Elian, 22 inches in length, yakky texture, loose curly style, color shown ash brown, DR4 BO Soft Blonde, and DR ST4 slash Ginger Spice. Once again, absolutely gorgeous, but this is not a frontal, and it, I believe it really needed to be a frontal. This, for me, definitely could have been either a sleek leg or just a regular outray lace front. There really isn't, I don't know, I don't think there, it needed to be a melted hairline at all, but I guess if you want to lay the edges, it would be easier to either, well, I mean, it really could have been a perfect hairline to be honest as well. So I think it's really pretty. I do not like that it's not a frontal because they are doing different hairstyles with the unit, but it just looks a bit wiggish to me. So let me know down below what you guys are thinking. Do you guys want me to pass on her? Are you gonna pass on her? Are we all gonna pass on her? Let me know down below <laughs> and we'll definitely continue talking about it. So from the Melted Hairline, we have Medina, 32 inches in length, yakky texture, wavy style, basic lace front, copper blonde, DRFF Cherry Crush, DRFF2 slash, Fudge Sunday Medina, once again, absolutely gorgeous, but Medina is extremely long, sitting at 32 inches in length. Miss Ma'am, like girl, this is a long wig, baby. I'm definitely going to be passing on Medina just off the length alone. It's like, ooh, this is so extra, but I mean, she's really gorgeous, but it's super long and it looks like it's going to be sitting really heavy. Then you have the short layers at the top, which, really is gonna get bypassed because of the length. And remember, since it's so long and it looks like it's definitely density filled, it's going to be, I don't know, like the ends are just gonna be a little bit flimsy for me. So once again, you know, if you wanna purchase Medina, that's great, but let me know down below what you're thinking, but I'm definitely gonna go ahead and pass on her. Next up, we have the HHB Natural Wave 20 inch. HHB does stand for Human Hair Blend, and I really love these units. Now, I've reviewed two of them before, and they were just absolutely gorgeous. I, I had no issues with the air tides at all with as far as the two I reviewed. Now, this is gonna be 20 inches in length, yakky texture, wavy style, 13 by six lace front, color shown deep burgundy, DR4 California blonde, DRST2 slash rose brown, and warm apricot. So the one being shown first, obviously, is going to be the D DRST2 rose brown, which I think is a very unusual color blend, but it's, it's beautiful. I think it's beautiful. I really do like the Airtight series. I started off not liking the Airtight series, but I just think I had got a bad unit girl. But either way, I think this is gorgeous. I love the fact that it's a human hair blend. It's so easy to work with. And I never had issues with these units as far as laying them down, melting them. Um, to me, the ones I reviewed, they were like glueless. Like they were definitely glueless. I didn't really have to do too much of melting. And I do love that this is a 13 by six frontal. So I'm on the fence. I may review her. I don't know yet. Let me know down below what you guys are thinking and if you're gonna be picking her up as well. 
Also from the Melted Hairline series, we have Layla, 28 inches in length, Yaki Texture, straight style, color shown, cream soda, DR2 Cherry Sunrise, DRF Hot Peak. So this one does have the bangs, and I think the bangs are just working with this unit really well. I love the, the color, the picture of it with it pulled back a bit with the bangs exposed. I think that's really gorgeous. Now, being that this is a melted hairline, it, I think it works well with the bangs. I think that the melted hairline really works well with the bangs because the bangs are gonna cover up those flaps it's, and then that when you pull it back, you're not gonna see it because the bangs are there. So I may, I may just review Layla just off the fact of that alone. Now, it is a 28 inch unit, which means it is a bit long, but I really do like the bangs. So you guys let me know what you're thinking and uh, if we could come to like a, a an agreement on if we want to go ahead and review or purchase Miss Layla. So from the Perfect Hairline series, we have Miss Kasia. I hope I'm saying this right. 22 inches in length, yakky texture, curly style, 13 by six lace frontal, color shown 1B, DR2 chestnut brown and red velvet. Okay, you guys know I love me some Perfect Hairlines. This is full of curls. This is full of cur curls. 22 inches in length, so it is a bit short, which means you can really work with her. I do like the fact that it's a frontal, but there's so many curls. I mean, even with the two little knots, the picture with the two little knots up there, it's still, it's so many curls. There's so many curls going on. So I'm on the fence. I'm not for sure. It's just too much. It's too many curls for me, at least. You know, so y'all know I'm finicky and picky. So let me know down below what you guys are thinking, but I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence. So I believe I talked about this one a month ago, the Kahara unit, but they didn't drop it until this month. 22 inches in length, yakky texture, loose curly style, 13 by six lace frontal, color shown DRFF4 honey eye brown, DRFF4 rose brown, and LR613 heavenly pink. Wow, okay. Kiara's pretty. Love that it's a 13 by six lace frontal. Love that it's a perfect hairline, but on the fence. Like, love the layers, but just on the fence. I'm not for sure. I'm just not for sure. What is that noise? I swear, every time I film, it's like people just come out of their apartments just to yell. I don't know what the hell that's about. But anywho, yeah, I'm on the fence, dolls. Let me know. I need some encouragement because I love that flip. Oh my gosh, I love the flip. Let me know down below, girl. All right, so also from the Perfect Hairline, we have Anicia, 26 inches in length, yakky texture, wavy style, 13 by 6 lace frontal, color shown DRST red velvet, DRST2 rose brown, warm apricot. So I'm definitely going to be uh, passing on Anicia. Just isn't, you know, it just isn't popping out to me at all. And nothing is wowing me about the unit. It's not a bad looking unit, but I'm just not impressed by it. You guys let me know what you're thinking and if I'm the weirdo here, but I, it just, I, I don't know. It just isn't giving. And usually when you review or wear wigs a lot, you pretty much know when something's not for you. So although Anicia is gorgeous, this one's just not going to be for me, you guys. So let's talk about it below and y'all let me know. Okay, also from the Perfect Hairline, we have Westland, 22 inches in length, yakky texture, wavy style, 13 by 6 lace frontal, color shown 2 slash red kiss, DRST chocolate swirl, and Sakura Blossom. Ma'am, yes, yes, and yes. Ooh, the DRST chocolate swirl. Definitely may review Westland. I think it just depends because the picture that's shown in that DRST chocolate swirl, yes. Yes, 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 right? How gorgeous is this? Like, it's giving. Now, the Sakura Blossom, it's like a pinky fuchsia, but like a light fuchsia. Either way, I'm just loving the color blends. Altre does no wrong when it comes to color blends. And I do love the style of Westland. I love that it's a 22 inch and it's also a frontal. So let's talk about Westland down below, you guys, because the DRSE Chocolate Swirl is definitely giving it's giving vibes to me it's just giving wind and pictures and extraness so let's go ahead and talk about it down below okay so melted hairline presley 24 inches yakky wavy style basic lace front color shown drstj blue 
DRST2 Rose Brown and FF1B Dipped Blonde. So the FF1B Dipped Blonde, yes, yes, and yes. The color, definitely. The style, I'm not for sure. I'm not for sure, dolls. It's it's giving flat, it's giving lamp. It's Y'all know I don't like limp nothing, okay? It is definitely giving that for me, but the color might just win me over. The only thing that peeves me about reviewing wigs is that you never know until you get these units on your head. I could look at Presley and be like, I don't know, ma'am, it's not giving, and then put her on and be like, oh my God, you know, wow. So that's the only con about being a wig influencer because you never know. It's the same thing with makeup. I mean, I'm a beauty influencer as well. And until you get that, you know, eyeshadow palette on or the lipstick, you never know, right? So. I don't know. I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence, you guys. Talk about it amongst yourselves down below. So this one is definitely going to be a winner for me. So this is the Melted Hairline Mandisa unit. Oh my goodness, 24 inches in length, nat natural yakky wavy style, basic lace front, DR2 Creamy Toffee, DRF Ginger Vanilla Kiss, and DRS2 Rose Brown. My God, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I think the color that is being shown, hopefully the one I'm, I might be going after, is either that DRF um, Creamy Toffee or the DRF Ginger Vanilla Kiss. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Bangs, layers, length. Everything is definitely going to be a hit for me. You guys, once again, multi hairlines are always on the fence, but since this does have the bangs, the flaps can be hidden. So we are going to go ahead and review this, and I may review this in two different colors because of how gorgeous that style is. It is definitely giving life. You guys know, baby, if anything has any layers in it with a little bit of volume, that is right up Christmas Alley, you guys. So let's go ahead and talk about it down below, and let me know what you're thinking of Mandisa as well. Next up from the Melted Hairline series, Madeline. So this is gonna be a 20 inch unit, Yaki Texture Wavy Style, DRST Red Velvet, DRST 2 Rose Brown and Warm Apricot. I think that this one is really gorgeous, but once again, probably didn't need to be a Melted Hairline. Looks a little bit to me like a basic lace front, but eh, that's just me. Definitely gonna pass on this one, but nonetheless, I still think she's very pretty. And once again, those color stories are definitely giving for this one. So let me know down below, but for me, it's definitely gonna be a pass. Also from the Melted Hairline, we have Miss Prim Rose, 12 inches in length, Yaki Texture Wavy Style, DR2 Chocolate Swirl Frosted Ash Blonde and Ginger Auburn. Okay, this one is gorgeous, giving Marilyn Monroe vibes, definitely. Once again, did not need to be a Melted Hairline, but I kind of get why it is because there is a lot of different things you can do along the hairline as far as swooping and ponytails and things of that nature, but it definitely could have been a frontal for me. I think she's gorgeous. I'm on the fence about reviewing this one because I've reviewed units that look like this before. So I'm really on the fence, but the Frosted Ash Blonde is a gorgeous color nonetheless, for me anyway. So let me know what you guys are thinking about Primrose. I like the name. The name is so prissy, right? I love the name Primrose. She's absolutely gorgeous. So let me know down below what we're thinking and if you're gonna pick her up. Also from the Melted Hairline, we have Miss Matilda, 24 inches in length, Yaki Texture Wavy Style. Color shown dark velvet, deep burgundy, and DR4 ash brown. Okay, the dark, no, what is it? Yeah, dark violet. My favorite color is purple, so it's definitely getting my attention with the violet color. But it is also giving me lamp. It's giving lamp, but it's not giving, you know, oomph for me, even though I love the color. So once again, on the fence about Matilda, I may just skip it, but I may just be keeping my eye out for for other wig influencers to review just so I can sort of get an idea of how it looks on someone else's dang head. But that dark velvet is a beautiful color, especially for fall, which we are approaching into. So let me know what you guys are thinking of Matilda and if you're gonna be picking her up. And last but not least, dolls, I think this is supposed to launch last month, but I'm not for sure. For rent, fear, girl, Fiorina, Fiorina, whatevs. Um, 22 inches in length, Yaki Texture Wavy Style, 13 by six lace frontal, DR, DR Deep Burgundy, DR4 Frosted Ash Brown, and Ocean Blue, and this is a perfect hairline. So this one's gorgeous. This one's gorgeous just because it looks really natural. I love the waves, I love the curls, I love the long layers. 
And I love the blunt cut at the end. I do love the uh, DRD burgundy and the frosted ash brown as well as the ocean blue. But I mean, once again, on the fence. Never know until you get these things on your head. So I'm definitely gonna keep my eye out for other wig bays and see what they're thinking about this unit, if they're gonna review it. But for me, I'm definitely going to be on the fence for now. Okay, you guys, that's pretty much it for what's new in wigs for the month of September 2024. Let me know down below what you guys are thinking. Also, do not forget to like, comment, and share this video everywhere. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram for more beauty and hair reviews. And I'll see you guys in the next review. Take care, dolls. Bye.